Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into the channel. Since it is May the 4th, and it's also the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series, Luke Skywalker and his Jedi robes. Yes, this is from The Mandalorian, but this is how he looked in Return of the Jedi, so let's just let it slide. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by, and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. All right, here we have the package for Luke Skywalker. You can clearly say, see it says Star Wars The Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker, Imperial Light Cruiser. Of course, we know that this is the Luke um, that shows up at the end of Mandalorian Season 2 to uh, sort of come and not only rescue our heroes, but also take baby Grogu off of Mando's hands. Here on the side, you can see nice, beautiful artwork and the side uh, mural going on there. You can see here on the side uh, everything he comes with and figure stands 5.7 inches tall. And then right there it says, Luke Skywalker, Imperial Light Cruiser. When the Mandalorian barks on a mission to save Grogu from Moff Gideon, he receives an unexpected help in the form of Luke Skywalker. And nice, beautiful, I don't know if that's toy photography or a render. Um, that could be a render. I don't know. It looks really good. Number 30 in the group. Uh, Larry... What else to say? Let's get this guy opened up and see what all he comes with. All right, here we have Luke opened up out of the package. And man, this is this is one incredible Luke Skywalker figure. I I I I really have no complaints on the figure itself. Um couple of complaints with the with the soft goods cape, but we're going to get into it. But um he does have a nice, really large, beautiful soft goods cape. Uh, this thing's a lot bigger uh, than I expected it to be. You actually can bring it all the way around and drape it all the way in front of him like this if you'd like. I like to take it and fold these pieces back so you can see some of his um, under part of the figure, the robes, the tunic, that sort of thing. The only complaint that I really have is I have, um, here I'll use this as a pointer, is I have some stitching issue right here where there is some stitching that's poked out on the side. Maybe that's... Um, normal because uh, it looks like it is sewn right here on the side uh yeah because it's sewn on this side too i just happen to have a very loose thread right here uh, the other thing is it looks like i have a if you can see that right there there's a little point uh right there now that's easy enough for me to cut off with a pair of scissors and uh not you know have a problem with that but it is it is right there and i i don't think that should be there i think that's a miscut now i do have a pair of scissors right here so let's see if we could just fix this on screen uh, and just very gently snip that off and there you have it just solved that problem um but what else that does is it sort of Man, I really do wish the hood part was kind of wired, um, but it does drape nicely. I think it does give a nice um, hooded effect, uh, especially with the way that it's stitched right here to like fold, to like sort of like fold under and back around. Um, sometimes, you know, hoods look better if you um, tuck in some of the extra material a little bit on the inside, uh, sort of like that. It kind of makes it a little more bulkier. Uh, but uh, but yeah, um, that doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Do I have another of those little snippy pieces on this side? Mm, kinda, yeah, you can kinda see it right there. I wonder if that's normal and necessary, but again, just a little snip. I'm gonna be very careful since I'm doing this behind my camera. Is this making anybody else nervous? Making me nervous. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But I think for the rest of this review, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and remove the soft goods cloak 
so we can just take a look at Luke himself. And this is a pretty fantastic looking Luke. I really dig this guy. Um, the hair looks nice. The face sculpt is one of the better Luke Skywalker face sculpts out there. And that's really weird considering that this is based on a digital face replacement uh, um, of Luke Skywalker. But I, I do think it's one of the better ones out there. Um, I do like that you can see that he, underneath his tunic, that you can see that he still has the flap on his vest, just like he does in Return of the Jedi, so I think that's really nice. I like this belt. Uh, this is not a separate piece. It's sculpted to the tunic and looks really good. Um, you can see a little hook right here. This is the world's tiniest, if you can see that, the world's tiniest lightsaber hook. It doesn't even look like it's gonna hold um, the lightsaber, but uh, lo and behold, hold see what I did there it it holds it now I don't know how well you know over time that's gonna hold up but it does hold it pretty nicely um, which is really really cool uh, as far as articulation goes uh, he can look up about that far uh, the head is on two points of articulation so you can actually rock forward and back uh, he can look down like that um, his arms can go out all the way to the side, almost in a T-pose. Um, nice stiff joints. Arms can go all the way around. Um, we have single joint at the elbow, but you get well past 90. Hinge and swivel uh, up and down at the, at the wrist, which is really good. I like that they give us an up and down. Uh, yep, on that hand as well. That's what he needs. Uh, he can... Uh, because of the tunic all being one piece, he can only crunch forward about that far, and he can lean back about that far. Uh, legs can only go out about that far forward. Um, single joint at the knee, but again, well past 90. And you do have a hinge and swivel at the knee, but you also have a boot cut, so there's a lot of articulation. I don't know if this is showing up on well on camera, but there's a nice leather detail. Uh, to his boot, which looks really great, and hinge, swivel, and rocker uh, for the foot. So he looks pretty fantastic. As far as accessories go, uh, he doesn't come with any extra hands. He comes with the rope, uh, his lightsaber hilt, uh, which looks really nice, and a nice lightsaber blade. And there is a closer look at the lightsaber itself. It looks really nice, nicely painted, real clean paint apps, even gold on the button. Looks great. So, let's see here. They give him a trigger holding hand, a, a, a gun holding hand. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's just, that's Hasbro for you. But there you have it. There is Luke Skywalker. Return of the Jedi or Mandalorian. Whatever shelf you want to put him on. Now, let's go over uh, some size comparisons. Here he is next to his retro collection uh, version. Uh, of course, with the brown cloak. Uh, not necessarily all that accurate, uh, but uh, that's how it came as a kid. And then next to another Hasbro figure, we have him next to, uh, look at that. It's like bring your kid to work day. Um, he is definitely shorter, even with a stand, than, uh, than the G.I. Jen Classified series. So let's pull these out of the way. A couple of other figure size comparisons. Here he is next to Hasbro Spider-Man, and even without a stand, Hasbro Indiana Jones, he is still significantly smaller. So there you have it. There's a good size comparison uh, for this Luke. Uh, you guys are gonna see this Luke again in the future a lot. I need to keep a Black Series figure downstairs in my review space so that I can um, uh, have him as a comparison for other figures in the future. Uh, I really like this figure. Uh, this is, this is, you know, Luke Skywalker in his Jedi robes is one of my favorite characters. It's one of my favorite looks for Luke. And of course, this scene in particular when he showed up uh, is absolutely incredible uh, in, um, in The Mandalorian. And so I'm really glad to have a figure from that particular scene. Um, I super appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Uh, you know, I hope you guys are celebrating May the 4th. So may the 4th be with you. Uh, may, you know, the um, 
Revenge of the Fifth tomorrow, and I've even seen a new one that we celebrate all month with The Mandalorian called This is the May. So however you celebrate Star Wars, uh, you know, may the force be with you. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate it. Please continue to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and leave me comments down below. It means the world to me and the channel, and it really helps out a lot. Um, please check us out over at Instagram.com slash Saturday Morning Toy Collector. This has been the Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark, and remember, I will see you in the toy aisles.